the car is holding a placard displaying her problem. I cannot walk due to lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis of both knees. She has also brought her medical reports from the hospitals where she has been receiving treatment. They confirm her problems of lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis of her knees. This is a lumbar corset she has to wear as a result of her condition, together with these knee braces. And this is an x-ray outlining the area of her problems. Let's hear from her. I'm Miss, Mrs. Grace Uwolo from Delta State. I cannot walk due to lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis of both knees. I'm using lumbar corset and, uh, and uh, knee brace. I've been having this problem since uh, 2011, for five years. I cannot walk, and uh, I cannot stand. It's my, my children that are used to bring me out in the compound and beat me. I've been to a general hospital for this problem. I've been to um, all these uh, harbor people that used to massage. Some used to come to my house to massage me. Still, the problem did not go. Instead, it increases. Doctor recommended a surgery. That I cannot find any ability to work. There's, there was no solution. That is why I'm here. I believe that today I will walk. Can there no problem again in the name of Jesus? Everything will be go away. We go away. And we can see some people standing beside you. Who are they to you? They are my grandchildren and uh, my lit my brother. They are the people who have been helping me. My name is Benjamin Odega, and this, these are my sister's uh, uh, grandchildren and uh, uh, younger brother. And who is the woman inside the car? Who is she to you? The woman inside the car is my elder sister. We have been to all the hospitals, and the general hospital and the I decided that they want to do a neck, 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 neck surgery upon her. So, so we're afraid, and uh, you know, we, we have been to all the, all the massage. They come to the house to massage her. We took her to the hospital. Everything, there were no solution. They decided that let's take it to the hand of God. I believe that today she will get out of the car and, and walk in the name of Jesus, and God will heal her today. Osatritis on both knees. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. I have lumbar spondylitis. I cannot walk. After crying out for help, Prophet T.B. Joshua begins to pray for her in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. And the resurrection power of Christ becomes glaringly obvious. She begins to shake uncontrollably under the mighty anointing and everything that was dead in her system begins to resurrect, begins to move. Cette femme ne peut pas marcher, atteinte de spondylose lombaire, et l'homme Dieu prie pour elle. C'est un moment de restauration et de guérison. Something gigantic, something wonderful is taking place. God uses Prophet T.B. Joshua to complete the healing process. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. here today for the glory of God after receiving healing in the power of the Holy Spirit from the problem of inability to walk due to lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis of both knees. She is here today to testify to the glory and goodness of God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Grace Uwolo. I'm from Delta State and I reside in Lagos. 
And who is the gentleman standing beside you? He's my junior brother. Can you tell us what was the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? The bro uh, problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is problem of lumbar spondylosis and knee arthritis. And what were you using? Huh? You're using a uh, lumbar... I used to use the uh, lumbar corset and the knee brace. Okay, can you tell us how this problem affected your life? The problem has affected me so much that I can't walk and I can't even bath. If I want to bath, it's my children that used to take me into the compound to bed me outside, outside the compound. And uh, even to cook, I cannot cook because they are the ones cooking for me and my brother that is here. I could not walk. They are the people that used to take me outside to bath. And where did you go to in search for solution to this problem? I've been to some hospitals for the problem, but still there's no improvement. Even the people that used to massage, my brother here used to drive me there. After that, the same thing, they used to come to my house to massage me. I cannot stand, I cannot stand like as I'm standing today. Since after the man of God prayed for me, I'm able to come out and stand today to say glory be to God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So tell us, what was your experience when Prophet T.W. Joshua prayed for you? You were sitting in the car, you couldn't walk. What was your experience when he prayed for you? My experience was when he was praying for me, I saw that my body, all my body were vibrating. They were vibrating seriously. Then after that, he said that I should come out. Then I came out of the car. Today, here I am. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And you're no longer using the lumbar corset, no longer using the knee braces? I don't, I don't longer use the knee brace and, the, uh, and the, the lumbar corset again. To God be the glory. Well, can you now yeah. uh, demonstrate for us, for the glory of God, what you can now do that you couldn't do before? Huh? Oh. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> Here I am now. I can walk. To God Praise be the glory. God Here is Mrs. Grace, she could not walk because of the problem of uh, lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis of both knees. After receiving prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit, she has received her healing in Jesus' name. Well, let's hear from her brother. You're very welcome, sir. Please introduce yourself to us, your name, where you're from, and who the lady is standing beside you. Emmanuel, my name is... Benjamin Odega, I'm from Data State. And tell us, uh, what was the problem that your sister was having and how are you helping her? Yeah, the, the problem that brought us here to Synagogue Church was that my sister was having difficulties. She, she could not stand, couldn't walk, and uh, she, she, could, she couldn't cook. She couldn't go to the bathroom. You know, it was just terrible. Myself, after, after taking around the, all, the, all the hospitals in, in, in Lagos, We've been to those ones at VI, Ikeja, Mikio, the, the, the two blood tests. We pay so much money everywhere that we go to. And they even suggested to do her um, neck surgery. And uh, I was saying, we were just afraid you know, to see her go through uh, neck surgery. You know, and uh, at, at her business, she, 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 she couldn't go there no more because, because of the pains at her waist and her back. It was terrible. You know, she cannot stand, can't can just do anything. You know, myself, I have to take her around everywhere. And when we come back home, after going around all the hospitals, we will settle down watching Emmanuel TV. And we see how people give testimony. You know, if I just start talking about all the testimony, I will stay here till tomorrow without leaving this place. You know, the man of God is, is just wonderful. I told my friend that I'm bringing my sister down to the Synagogue Church of All Nations for, for salvation. My, my friends, they, they screamed. They said, why Synagogue Church? And I asked them, why? 
what, what is your, your problem? I said, myself, that I've been going down to Snaggle Church, the, the pains in my leg, I used to have fire burning in my leg. Those fire, they are gone. I used to have uh, pains in my chest. Only, only coming down here, all those pains have gone. So it means that God is inside this church. To God be the glory and your sister received prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ healed her. How are you feeling now that your sister has received her healing? Now that my sister has received the healing, you know, myself, you know, I, I feel I'm happy that truly our Lord Jesus Christ has proved himself to truly be the, the God of everyone. You know, God is just wonderful. It just Even still her standing here up to over Two minutes, it's, it's just a miracle. She, can't, she, can't, she cannot stand like this before. You know, I just give God all the, all the glory. God is, is merciful. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> to God be the glory. Well, let's hear uh, the advice from Mrs. Grace uh, concerning the encounter she had with Jesus Christ. Uh, what is your advice for people around the world with similar conditions? What would be your advice for them? My advice is, when you are in difficulty such as mine, or even more than mine, don't run from God. Run to God, and you'll be all right in Jesus' name. To God be the glory, and we want to encourage you to make God's word the standard for your life, and the best is yet to come for you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Acabamos de escuchar este maravilloso testimonio de sanidad que se llevó a cabo el domingo pasado en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Esta mujer se presentó con un problema de que no podía caminar debido a espondilosis lumbar y osteoartritis en sus dos rodillas. Ella nos dice que estuvo en diferentes hospitales, en diferentes doctores, haciendo diferentes tratamientos y terapias. Sin embargo, no pudo encontrar la solución. Y atemorizados por el último consejo del doctor de que ella tenía que ser sometida a operación, ella decidió encontrar una solución divina. Ellos empezaron a ver Emanuel TV y al estar motivados por los testimonios decidieron visitar las Coan y ella recibió un toque divino el domingo pasado y recibió la sanidad. Hoy podemos ver que está caminando majestuosamente para la gloria de Dios. Ella aconseja a todas las personas a que busquen a Dios, corran hacia Dios y serán bendecidos. Continuamos. Nous venons d'entendre le témoignage de ces femmes qui s'appellent Grace et qu'on a vu transporter à la synagogue dans un véhicule car elle était incapable de marcher. Elle souffrait de la spondylose lombaire et de l'arthrose qui affectait ses deux jambes et particulièrement ses genoux. Elle est allée d'hôpital en hôpital en recherche de solutions et n'a point trouvé de solution permanente à ce problème. Elle a recouru à la médecine traditionnelle, mais tout cela en vain. On a fait des massages kinésithérapiques, mais tout cela n'a apporté aucun soulagement à ce problème. Elle a recouru, on l'a recommandé d'aller vers la chirurgie, ce qu'elle a refusé. Et lorsqu'elle est venue à la synagogue, ses parents, ses, ses amis l'ont transportée dans un véhicule car elle était incapable de se tenir debout ni de marcher. C'est ainsi qu'à la maison même, ses enfants l'aidaient, la supportaient tous les jours et l'aidaient pour faire les tâches ménagères, ce qu'elle était incapable de faire. C'est dans un tel état d'agonie qu'elle est venue ici chercher la guérison auprès de celui qui est vivant au siècle des siècles. Jésus-Christ, par la présence de l'onction du Saint-Esprit, à travers son serviteur, l'a visité et le joug a été brisé. Elle se levait, elle est sortie de la, de la voiture et depuis ce jour, elle a retrouvé sa liberté. Elle marche librement, elle est restaurée, elle est guérie par le Christ vivant. Jésus est vivant, portez les regards vers lui, car il est le même hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Que Dieu vous bénisse. <rires> 